Yo, how y'all doing today? Today is an extremely good day for me. Today, Sunday, November the 25th, 2012. For the rest of my life, I will always remember this day because this is the day that my son, Jaden Nishan Dantzler, gave his life to Christ at the cool, tender age of 13. Wow, what a day. Let me explain it to you all how it all went down. Well, today I had a show today in Rock Hill, South Carolina at Antioch Christian Center and Apostle Stevenson, thank you all for inviting me. So I went there today, I had to perform at 12 noon today for, of course, this is the fourth Sunday, Youth Sunday. So my son, Jaden, actually lives in Rock Hill, and I live in Columbia, South Carolina, which is about, a, about an hour. So I told him I was coming to town, and, and of course, you know, I'm going to pick you up so you can come to the show. All my family was in town. Shout out to Waltina, Dantzler, and LaShawn, all my family up there in Rock Hill, my Aunt Jessie, all y'all up there in, in Rock Hill. Thank all my cousins that came out and supported you know, my wife, Irina was there, Jaden, Jacoby, Skylar, my boys, it was all there. So anyway, fast forward, when they called my name for me to come up, God put it on my heart because I've been having some issues with my son um, as far as, you know, getting in trouble with school and having gang paraphernalia and all these good things and, well, bad things. So he had a lot of issues going on for a while. So God put it on my heart to deal with that today before my show. So when they called me to come up there, this is what God put on my heart for me to say to the people. So before they was ready to jam and get down with what Davon had to offer today, I put up my Bible like so. And I told them, I didn't ask them to read along with me. I said, I want to read something to you all before I get into my music ministry. And what was like this? This is 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Bless you, man. God, let's get into the floor. Amen, amen. I don't know. You know what I'm No, I'm fine. How y'all doing today? Good, good. God is good. Yes, Giving honor to God, to the leaders of the house, to everybody in respective places. My name is Davon Dance. I'm a gospel hip hop artist. Um, but first and foremost, this is ministry, what I do. And before I get started, this is on my heart that I need to share this with you. Right here, it says, This is a faithful saying. If a man desires a position of a bishop, he desires a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, temperate, sober-minded, of good behavior, hospitable, able to teach, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, but gentle, not quarrelsome, one who rules his own house as well. Yes, sir. Having his children in submission with all reverence. For if a man does not know how to rule his own house, how will he take care of the church of God? Amen. So when I read that, I got a lot of claps and and no one really understood where I was going with this. But I was like, no longer will I get up there and do all of these youth ministries all across the world and tell children and inspire them and inspire parents and do all of this stuff while my own house is in a disarray. So I said, in the Bible it says, my first ministry is to my family. So before I could get, go get started with my show, I called my son Jaden up. I said, Jaden, come up here. Come here, Jaden. I want to call my son up here. Amen. Before I uh, 
minister to you all through music. I would not get up here and try to teach you all anything about God and my own situation ain't right. This is my son, Jalen. He's 13 years old. When Jalen came into my life, I was deep in the streets. So he witnessed some of the things about daddy that y'all probably would never know that my book don't even describe. Now, I'm not with his mother. And he experienced some things with his mother as well. But even with all his bad experiences, he still has no excuse. He still has no excuse on what he's supposed to be in his life. When my son has been getting in trouble at school, He's been getting suspended. He's been running around with the wrong people. He's been having gang paraphernalia everywhere he goes. While I'm running around the world ministering the gospel. I'm going to pause right there to let you know that I ain't exempt. Even though I'm doing the work of the Lord. So he's standing here thinking I'm trying to embarrass him. But this is love. But what's embarrassing is being suspended. That's the embarrassment. Not what I'm doing. But I believe that all things, all things, all things, come on now, work together. Yes, sir. For what? For the good. For the good. For what? For the good. For those in Christ. Hey. Anybody love the Lord? Hallelujah. I want to deal with my family and minister to my family first before I give. The good news. I'm going to lay hands on my son. Amen. And I want the church to stand right now. And y'all, y'all just point at my son right now. Amen. Running the I streets and doing all these things because the prisons is not going to get my child. Amen. 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 Death can come, but he ain't taking my child with him. Amen. Everybody have your head bowed and your eyes closed. Heavenly Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, Jada. Lift your hands up. In the name of Jesus right now, Father. Father, you are a way maker. You are a healer. You are a deliverer. Father, we are in full submission to you right now. Father, we ask you right now, God, that you do the supernatural right now. That you operate right now in this heart. Yeah. Regulate his heart and regulate his mind right yeah. now, God. Yeah. Amen. Yes. That the sins of the father go down to the third and fourth generation, but amen. Yeah. Every generation of curse have been destroyed this day. 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 Y'all give him another hand. Yeah. 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 That was powerful. Now that's how I started my show off. That's how God led me to start my show off. Because I wanted to be, I wanted to reach out to my child, let him know that I love him. And I also wanted the congregation to know that life is real for everybody. That nobody's exempt from the challenges of the world. You see, I am going around from church to church, inspiring kids all over the world, everywhere I go, and telling everybody right from wrong, the youth that is right from wrong, and encouraging uh, the adults as well, because my ministry is for everybody. But at, while I'm out there doing all the stuff that I was doing, and that I'm doing for the kingdom, I'm doing all these things, but yet still, I'm having issues with my own child. When I finally sat down, after I did my last song, I sat down, and Apostle Stevenson, he got back up, and of course he he spoke highly of me and, and, and encouraged everyone to to uh, sow into my ministry and buy my book and CD and help get Davine ministry out there to the world because the world needs to hear. And then he went into to say, hey, is there anyone in here? That don't know Jesus. Because we cannot leave out of here without extending the invitation for someone to take Christ's hand right now. And before he could really get good into it, I, my, I heard him say, 
come on up, young man. And I didn't know who he was talking to. Then I looked. I saw my son Jaden had his hand up, and he stood up on his own, 13 years old. Usually when my son Jaden comes to school, I mean comes to the church, he don't do nothing. He just sit there, don't talk. He just sit there. He don't move. He don't do nothing. So for him to raise his hand and walk up there in front of all those people and say he wants to give his life to God. It wasn't nothing about I told him. I didn't coerce him. I didn't, I didn't beg him and push him. And that was a decision he made on his own. So that was a moment for me to rejoice, throw my hands in the air, because the prayers of the righteous do, does, availeth much. And I want y'all to check it out right now. Here it is, my son Jaden giving his life to Christ on Sunday, November the 25th, 2012. So proud of you, son. Check it out. Thank you, Father. That I'm saved. That's right. My name is written. In the book of life. And my life will never be the same. Give me the gift of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of prophesying and speaking in tongues. Thank you, God, that I'm a favorite right now. And my destiny journey starts today. Somebody give God a hand. Clap. You have lost the right to fail. Man, it's not an option. I want you to understand something. Now, you, you got the grace. You got the grace to be who God called you to be. Yeah. Let me share this with you. If a person can't accept you for who you are, they just disqualify themselves to be your friend. Amen. If you got, if you got the compromise to be accepted by a group, amen, they just disqualify themselves. If a person can't celebrate you for who you are, the king, the destiny maker, the exchange agent in this earth, amen, they, they have been sent to hinder your purpose. B, y'all get it, young man. Wow, can y'all imagine how I felt seeing my son up there giving his life to God? I, I I, I, I didn't know even know what to say. All I could say was, thank God. Thank you, God. And I want that to be a lesson and an example to everybody out there. Don't count people out and don't give up on nobody. You never know. I had a long talk with my son when we got in the car. I said, hey, it's not going to be an easy road. Don't think that just because you gave your life to God, don't look for a feeling. Don't look for, for something miraculous to happen. Don't even... Don't, even make the mistake of thinking you're not saved if you wake up tomorrow finding yourself doing some of your old bad habits because it doesn't happen overnight. But the purpose of you getting saved is that you're acknowledging that Jesus Christ is your Savior and you believe that he died on the cross for all your sins and that you believe that he arose on the third day and is alive right now and seated at the right hand of the Father. And if you believe in that, and then you believe that Jesus Christ can do all things and that you can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens you. So my words to my son was, take every day slow. It ain't about being perfect as a Christian, but you must try, put forth an effort, and then put everything in Jesus' hands. Pray, 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 is all I can tell my son. When he gave his life to God, I felt like my son was the prodigal son that was lost, but now he is found. I felt like my son came back home. So I told my son in the car when I had that long talk with him, I gave him the story about the prodigal son. How he got his inheritance and went by his business like he had it. He, like he knew everything in the world. But when he lost everything, he started thinking about the goodness of how he had it when he was at home. And he started thinking about how his, how the, how his dad employees was living better than him right now. So he wanted to go back home. Return home. Because he lost everything. And then when his dad saw him coming. His dad ran to him. And the first thing his dad said. Hey. 
Put the best robe on. Put the sandals on his feet. Put the ring on his finger. Go slaughter the fattest calf. And let's celebrate. And that's the wonders of God. You don't care about the mistakes that you made. As long as you acknowledge that you made them. They're already forgiven. Now all you got to do is just walk in the glory in which God has given you. So I told my son, I'm not going to lecture you about the school suspensions. I'm not going to lecture you about nothing. Because today is the day that my son was lost. But now he's found. So I tell you, son, that this conversation, this is what I told him, I said, this conversation that I'm having with you, son, this is not to scold you, not to preach to you, but I, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the best robe on you. I'm putting the sandals on you, son. I'm putting the ring on your finger, and I'm cutting the, the fattest calf I have so I can feast with you right now, because the same God I serve is the same God you serve. And from this day forth, we have kingdom business. And we're going to do whatever we got to do. And you're going to use your story to reach the youth. You're going to use your story to reach the youth. So when you look back, when you look back on this day, because Danny made sure I videotaped it. Oh, I made sure I videotaped it. He's going to get the DVD. He's going to get everything. It's because it was so late on in life when he's talking to his children. And when he's telling his children, yeah, I remember when I was stubborn. I wouldn't listen to my dad. I wouldn't listen to my mom. But on November the 25th, 2012, I gave my life to Christ. When I was just a young boy, when he's trying to tell his son that, and his son rolling his eyes like whatever, he said, you don't believe him, let me show you. And he can pop this blog in and show his daddy giving the story about his son. Because later on, this story is going to bless his children's children because he was courageous enough to raise his hand and say yes i want to accept jesus christ as my lord and my savior at the tender cool age of 13. big ups to Jaden nashan dancer my son who all watched this video i want you to share it with everybody in the world i want everybody to know that there is hope for the youth there is hope, and there are people out there that are trying to do right. Let Jaden's life be an example. I know it's, just, it's too, I don't know what he's going to do tomorrow or the day, but I have faith in God, that he's in God's hands right now. And I'm not even concerned about the mistakes because God has a powerful purpose for his life. I thank you all for tuning in to Blog 99. I thank you all for tuning in to blog number nine. I'm going to entitle this, Jaden Nishan Dansler, Saved at 13. God still in the blessing business. Thank you all. It's your boy, Davine. Y'all know to check me out at www.davinedansler.com. Love you all. Peace and blessings. And... Deuces.